Hello, Quincy. Mayor Tom Koch here with our COVID-19 update. As of today, we have 1,030 confirmed cases and 93 deaths since we uh, spoke on Friday. And those additional deaths have been relating to nursing homes. We have uh, approaching 450 now that have recovered and the total cases in Massachusetts is 78,462. Now, last week we um, gave a little bit of breakdown on the percentages and what it really means, these numbers, and I'd like to go over those again this week. So the infection rate increase of uh, cases weekly over the last seven weeks, they continue to show a decline in the rate of increase. So March 30th, which is when uh, was the first week, we had 583% increase. April 6th, we went to 112% increase. April 13th was an 88% increase. April 20th, 62% increase. The 27th of April, 36% increase. May 4th, which we talked about last week, was a 20% increase. And today, we're seeing a 17% increase. So that, again, that curve that, um, that the governor and uh, the president actually talks about as well, uh, you know, creating that downward trend is, is the whole goal of, of what we do with social distancing and self-quarantine. So the percentage of inque increase continues to get on pretty dramatically, which is a good sign. Uh, that's why we've got to keep going. So um, last week, the recoveries have increased by 40 percent. So that's a good thing, too. That number is coming up uh, pretty robustly, those that have recovered from this. So state comparison, Quincy is uh, about 1.3 percent of the total cases statewide. That really hasn't changed much since the beginning. 895 cases per 100,000 per 100,000 uh, compares to about 1,033 per 100,000 statewide. So these new numbers today are up a little bit from what I'm giving you there. But suffice to say that our infection rate continues to be lower than the state average. Some examples, some other cities, uh, Boston is 1,500 people per 100,000. Lynn's 2,500 people per 100,000. Brockton's 3,000 uh, per 100,000. Malden is 1,300 per 100,000. Braintree is 1,600 per 100,000. Weymouth is 990 per 100,000. So uh, we, you know, for a city our size with our population, uh, we're, in a, we're in a good place. Um, obviously, any death is, is tragic and difficult for those families. Uh, but what we're dealing with with this virus and looking at the numbers and the analysis with it, uh, we are in a pretty good place. And that's due to the cooperation we receive from you, our citizens, our business community, uh, right across the board, the cooperation we received with the directions that we received from the state, from the federal government, as well as our own health commissioner, Ruth Jones. So we're going to continue to work it. We're going to continue to self-quarantine. We're going to continue to keep that social distancing going. Uh, wear the mask when it's appropriate, when you can't social distance, uh, and kind of follow the rules. And we'll continue to get that to, to drop, uh, hopefully in an even more robust way next week. So um, the other thing I wanted to mention, I, I think you're probably aware that the governor uh, did announce a four-stage approach to reopen the state's economy. Now, that's just the start of it. He's got a whole committee and group that's working this from all aspects of business. So there's no dates associated with it yet, um, but it's nice to see the state is uh, working very hard to reopen, but setting kind of the ground rules on how they're going to make those decisions. And I'm in conversations with the governor and a number of uh, mayors across the state on a regular basis having these types of discussions. We had one last night at 8 o'clock, went for about an hour and a half, um, and they have been worthwhile and certainly would keep you posted uh, on some of those discussions. Uh, the COVID-19 marks a unique place in history, uh, one that has affected uh, everybody really at so many different levels. The City of Quincy in collaboration with the Thomas Crane Library Department of the City, Quincy 400 and QHTV has created the Quincy COVID Memories Project. This is to offer individual, those folks that have been living and working in the City of Quincy to share their experiences uh, during this crazy extraordinary time. So we invite you to share photos, stories, art, remembrances, poems, as well as brief videos and audios, uh, files that represent most meaningful and relevant uh, things that may have happened during this time, maybe to you, maybe to the community. The Quincy COVID Memories website and digital archives will document, preserve, and share these experiences. The Quincy COVID Memories Project has been created to capture the impressions of everyone in our city who would like to participate in documenting this time in our history. Uh, there are two ways to submit your contributions to this project. You could visit Quincy Cultural Memory 
com, and uphold your contribution. Or send your contribution by mail to the Thomas Crane Public Library Attention Local History, 40 Washington Street, Quincy, Mass., 02169. For further questions about this project, you can reach out to the Thomas Crane Library Information Line, 617-376-1102. And there's a lot of wonderful people working very hard on this project. I appreciate all what they're doing for this and uh, encourage you to get involved and be part of this because I think 10 years from now we'll all look back, hopefully have some laughs, but have some real true memories uh, that uh, will really remind people down the road what happened here on 2020. Uh, so, so thanks for tuning in today. We'll keep you uh, obviously updated each and every day. Stay tuned. Uh, God bless and stay safe.